God bless you all beautiful people. As you guys can see, I'm somewhere totally different right now. I was talking about where we're headed to, but the audio was super bad due to the airplane. Therefore, I'll do a complete voiceover. Now, that being said, I was basically saying here how I was scared, but also excited at the same time because I haven't been to my home country in so long. For those who do not know, I was born in Ecuador and I went to the US when I was around four or five years old today i am 20 so you guys could definitely tell i haven't gone back ever since i was feeling scared because i was afraid that i wasn't going to like ecuador and that the foods might get me sick but then on the other hand i was really excited because i was going to a whole different country and not just any country but where i was born i am also very excited for you guys to meet ecuador uh, such as their foods transportation streets and all of that and also for you guys to meet some of my family members and my dad of course by the way i couldn't take off my mask because in the airplane it was super strict and every time i tried taking it off they would immediately tell me to put it back on unless if i was going to eat or drink I'm really happy to share with you guys these uh, memories, these moments right now. If God still allows us to be here for longer. So I would definitely love to come back to these videos uh, later on in the future. And be like, oh my, I remember when we went um, uh, to Ecuador. So yes, that's where we headed to guys. We're headed to Ecuador. This was also the first time in which I was in an airplane after years and honestly you guys it was not the best experience because I ended up getting sick so I threw up I know I shouldn't be that uh, honest with y'all but I chose to so <laughs> that feeling of your stomach I mean your heart dropping to your stomach and just looking down from the window was amazing my mom and my sister were definitely having an amazing experience compared to mine there was just so much excitement and mixed feelings going on at this point because I honestly just couldn't believe that I was actually going back after 16 years and then I was thinking about all that food I was going to eat because I personally love to eat a lot I mean of course who doesn't love to eat and also I was just looking forward to meeting my family members I haven't met them yet also a little disclaimer you guys i am going to basically narrate some parts of this video just so nobody gets confused by what's going on in the mini clips so the further that we went uh watching the clouds fell so amazing in a spiritual way i thought about how amazing god is and how beautiful his creation is just look at these, these clouds you guys how amazing and beautiful they are like i was just imagining myself how beautiful it will be to be in heaven and meet our heavenly father The funny part about arriving to Ecuador was that it did not feel like I was in Ecuador. It just felt like if I was in a whole different city or state. I don't know why I felt that way, but I guess I just wanted to think it that way so that I don't get homesick. Because I did get homesick later on, which you guys will see in a few clips. El uso de mascarilla es obligatorio y abra con cuidado los compartimentos superiores ya que el equipaje pudo haberse movido durante el vuelo. Al bajar, por favor, asegúrense de llevar todos sus artículos personales y deben no dejar mascarillas o guantes dentro del avión. Desde ahora pueden utilizar sus equipos electrónicos con normalidad. Recuerde que con los beneficios de nuestro programa Latam Paz, acumulan millas y podrán volar cada vez más. Esperamos tenerlos a bordo en su próximo viaje. Un nuevo mundo, una nueva forma de volar. Basically, we are at my cousin's house right now. We're staying over her house. Um, to be quite honest with y'all, I don't feel good. I'm just trying to figure out what is it? Is it the food? Was it the airplane? Or, or am I just not liking it here? But um, I'm just telling myself like, you know, Britta, try your best. Try your best. Hopefully, hopefully I survive. Uh, cause like I'm telling y'all. Like last time I was here was, was when I was five. Like it's been years. I'm gonna go to sleep right now. <laughs> Ooh. See you guys later.
I'm just going to show you guys a little bit around the room where we were staying at. This is at my cousin's house. Her place was actually better than I expected because I assumed that we were going to stay at a small house in a tiny crowded room. But I was wrong. I admit it. I was wrong. This house was actually pretty big and it had many floors uh, because this country is actually poor. So that's why I assumed it. But hey, I'm never gonna assume such thing like that again. <laughs> This mini garage that you guys could see in here had an amazing view which I used to come to every morning because the sun warm up this place so nice. Usually the rooms are cold in the morning since there's no heaters in here but outside is always hot and in the night gets cold again. <laughs> My luggage didn't arrive I was told that I had to wait five days until it arrives because they saw I had a lot of fumes and lotions in my luggage which were gifts for my cousins so later in the day my cousin decided to drive us to the stores to see if I was able to find myself some clothes for the days I wouldn't have my luggage you guys will see how the streets are very interesting well for me it was because uh, they're steep streets so much until it got dark we also stopped by this man who was selling jackets for a dollar two dollars and three dollars and my sister got herself a pretty and cozy jacket for only three dollars <laughs> This night was also the first time in which I got to try the famous Sanchipapa. At first, I kind of didn't like it, but then I got a little bit obsessed with it because I was eating it like almost every single day. Then we went to wait for the bus, but unfortunately, the bus didn't come. 
So we took a taxi and in a few clips later you guys can see uh, where I am like sitting in the back of um, the taxi. So in Ecuador you could sit either inside the car or you could sit like in the back outside of the car. Which uh, this was such an amazing experience as well. Every experience was amazing so you guys will probably hear that word amazing so many times. But that was just uh, how much I was enjoying all of these precious moments here in the back I was with one of my cousins by the way This day was on a Saturday and we went to eat some breakfast at the market. You guys will see how the markets look like in Ecuador in a few clips. My cousins got us some morocho with bread, I got bread with nectar de leche, and my mom and my sister got bread with cheese. The markets in Ecuador are interesting and cheap. I literally wanted to buy a little of almost everything. As soon as you get there, everyone begins offering you something to buy off of them. And they even include the yapa, which I learned that that means a little extra of whatever you're buying off of them. This day my cousin Patricio drove us to my cousin's house that she was constructing and we had so much fun because we did a little bit of everything. We basically ate, played, laughed through my cousin Amini's birthday party and had a small cookout which you guys will see all of that in a few. There were so many animals around here which was my favorite part of being in Ecuador since I love nature and animals.
here I am on top of my cousin's house which you guys will see it soon how it looks from the outside but this view was just beautiful the trees were really tall and the air in the Ecuador is so fresh and clean <laughs> Here was my cousin's husband preparing the fire to make a cookout. Out of all the dogs I saw in Ecuador, I think this one was my favorite. Her name is Easy, and man, she was the cutest. She was also enjoying this day with me. Easy. She was trying to find a way to get into the house, but I told her not to because that fence had spikes. Well, this sun and everything here is just so beautiful. This environment, everything, like this weather is just so amazing, y'all. Oh, Up there is the beautiful house that my cousin is constructing that I've been telling you guys about. She's doing such an amazing job. I'm not going to really be much in these short videos, but I still tried to record myself here and there. Walking through these hills was definitely something new for my mom, my sister, for, well, for all of us three. It was complicated but fun at the same time because we kept on getting scared to fall and my cousins just kept on la laughing at us. We literally had to be holding ourselves onto something before going down or going up hills. But here we were walking to the store to buy yogurts and cookies. Conteniéndome en eso, ¿no? Aunque sí me resolvió un poco.
On the way, we saw a pig, and I just had to record it because how I said I was really enjoying all that beauty. This part was one of the scariest part I experienced in Ecuador because we had to cross this mini bridge to go up to the house uh, where uh, my cousin and that bridge was a bit wobbly and old. On the way back, we saw this really cute kitten. As you guys could tell, one of my obsessions were definitely the animals. Oh, 
Tres. No hemos hecho nada. Pero ya hicimos todo. ¿Quién? Haciendo. Vaca. Dile, don Ramón. Vaca, mira esto. Mira. Mira, vaca. ¿Qué tal? Mira. Another thing that I enjoyed in Ecuador was watching people milk the cows. I don't know how weird that made sound, but I've only seen this happen in TV. So, of course, I didn't see this in real life. So I asked this lady if I was able to record and milk the cow for I can never forget about this memory which she was so kind to be okay with it and the best part was that she gave us that bucket full of fresh milk which may God bless her so much because although we did not know her she had that sweet heart and so kind to do that thing for us. And we stayed until late night watching the fire with my cousins. This day we pretty much went out to eat at a restaurant with uh, one of my cousins, Priscilla. Everything in Ecuador can sometimes be expensive, but the food is always super cheap. You can literally eat a whole meal for $2.75. Me 
and of course i got myself this bag of candies because in ecuador they have sweets that does not compare to the ones in the u.s Every day we pretty much learn something new. For example, here we are on the bus on our way to pick up my luggage. Bus fare in Ecuador is usually around 30 cents and they do not pay with MetroCard but instead they directly hand the money to the bus driver for he can put it in this thing. I don't know how it's called but I guess it's like a, a quarter holder, money holder. Uh, there are another buses that are called Sentinela which uh, take us uh, further. Uh, in this case, on this day, uh, we took the Sentinela to the airport in Cuenca. In both buses, they play music by the way. On the way we saw a train the trains are definitely not underground as you guys can see and i noticed how interesting they look because for me they are shaped like bullets i don't know if, <laughs> about you guys after picking up my luggage we went to eat food I got me chalo fun, super delicious. It's pretty much rice fried with almost every meat variation. That same night, we took the opportunity to go out with my cousins to eat very unhealthy, of course, making sure our mothers were not, you know, around to stop us from going out to eat. But we went out to eat bags of quechitos, a pie of pizza, dessert, and of course, salchi papa. show you guys a little difference in here for example here the mayonnaise and ketchup are dense and sweet compared to the US which is more thick and salty also the napkins in some restaurants are like paper This was also the day in which we got our cousin a gift. He was so happy about it. <laughs>
Uh, here are some days that got a little bit sad, but I will never forget about this one day in which I met my grandpa from my mom's side and I cried. You guys will see it, um, how it got super emotional. On this day, I met more cousins too. You guys will see a lot of uh, time of my grandpa because I feel like these memories should definitely stay here. Abuelito, ¿cómo está? A ver, y a pasearse. Bueno, está bueno. Está. Aquí está otra nieta. Él no puede ser resol. Es que de esa botella está dicho él. Claro. Está ah, herido. Se está sentado. La veterana botella y que está más bien. Pero ya estamos, oiga. Claro. Qué novedad por allá. We tried to make him recognize my mom so many times but unfortunately he didn't because he has Alzheimer's. By the way, if you're wondering why he has blood in his face is because we were told that he fell that same day in the morning when he went out for a walk. Yo soy, yo soy su nieta. 
la hija de la hija de la hija de la hija de la hija Nieta Sereta. Sí, nieta es, yo también soy nieta. Ve, nieta de qué por qué. Nieta, nieta. Mío también es así. Later, we went to see my mom's aunt. She's so funny, and we just ended up having so much fun. <laughs> I saw a kitten which my sister almost stepped on it. It was the cutest thing I've seen in my life. Literally, it was the size of my hand. After I got to see all the adorable guinea pigs, me and my sister started wandering around and we went on a walk with one of my cousins, Danny. But by the time we came back, we received a surprise which you guys will see and probably dislike us for it.
Mm -hmm. um, want to join down there, Yeah, let's go. Oh, you record that? That's a planta de pera. You see? Oh, really? Oh, those are like oh, pear flowers me. and then... Yeah. And then it starts to wonderful. That's so amazing how from a flower. And look, these are the abas that we eat. This is comes with a picture of it. Mm -hmm. In Rio Canyon, but this one's also you you like open it. And then you chew it, it's good. And then the real time is gonna have to say, Oh my god, you should sit down here and now to take the picture. You grab this? <laughs> a wish. <laughs> yeah, this requires a lot of air. <laughs> That's it? That's it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Can we eat it now? Yes. I'm gonna get three. One for me and one for you. One for mom. But, yo, there's a lot. Mm -hmm. We should get all of them. <laughs> Look, there's a like lot more apple up there. Picking. Like, we can literally climb and then get it. Whoa. Oh no. Nah. 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 No más a la prueba en ella primero, eh. si funciona o no. <risa> Ay, no. ¿Y dónde vienen? ¿Está lejos? ¿Dónde se fue? Pero ya está sucio. Oiga, de tanto que no le das de comer, porque ya por estaba muriendo. Eso es tía suyo, ve. Yo pues me dije, es chicho, que jalen para que participe. Tía, ese es tu plato, ya come. <risa> Pero la mujer está bien tremendo, está bien platito no más. Uno es tremendo la mujer. <risa>
after that we went back to my grandpa's house because we wanted to spend more time with him but unfortunately he was sleeping so we were only able to see him through this small uh, window from his room so we just stayed there speaking to the lady that is staying with uh, my grandpa and we saw her milk the cow which uh, my sister tried to do it as well but she told her she couldn't or else the cow would kick her and then we went back again to my aunt which I spent most of the time with the kittens so basically this day we were uh, back and forth, back and forth to my grandpa and back again to my aunt's house. ¿Qué va a dejar coger? Despacio, anda, abriendo, corriendo, Ya todo sabe volar para abajo. Eh, ya ven, si así saben hacer. No, uh -huh. chita, me no se puede coger. Eh, sí, mata esa negra que estaba yendo. Ya. No, ya voló, allá está mejor ir. Ya, no es la negra, ya subió. Ya, ya voló. Sí, mami, está la negra, veo una negra ahorita y. su hija y ha sabido estar cocinando todo haciendo ellos claro ellos sí. por inglés hablan sí. ahora se va va a mandar dando On this day, I woke up to a delicious chicken soup made by my cousin Nympha. I don't know if they are just her soups or what, but those soups were the best. Sorry, mom. Then we got some ice cream from the ice cream truck. And finally, we got ready to go out for a walk at the park. But all of a sudden, this random cute dog came into the house. And we were having a blast for a little bit and then we left. Gracias. Wow, qué rico.
This day we went to go see my dad, which you guys will meet him in a few. But first we wanted to pass by his business, which he sells plants. And now I know who I got that plant love from because I also love plants and I have a lot of plants at home. We also passed by the old house where we used to live when we were uh, when we used to live here. This day really brought me so many memories to when I was just five years old. I remember this back door. Mm -hmm. Wait, so other people live here now? Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. Look how the house literally got damaged. Grass and stuff like. Mm. Yeah, like. I remember a back. The back of the house and the story about me and my dad <laughs> we were super close until life separated us <laughs> 